we love the gear. Oh, thank you. It's all the way. Thanks. Let's talk about this. Kevin with GreatBlastic.com here with Maggie Bensley. First off, love the gear. Oh, thank you so much. Custom made. Too flat, um, not a or not a season pass, no. but, but right on top of it. How'd you feel? Um, I felt a little bit sluggish to be honest, and I was actually really happy because I just really stayed with it. And like there were times where I was like, oh, it just didn't feel um, like as like in the flow as I would I would like to. But I think it was a real testament to my strength and just my ability now to hang in there and not give up even when things maybe aren't feeling like 100%. So, I mean, that's a sign of being a professional is to be able to like perform when you're not feeling at your 100%. So, I think I'm making good strides towards that and that's really important to me. So, were you surprised at the lead that Chanel went out uh, and got and, and also that she came back so much in the last 100? I really wasn't surprised about the lead because that's like how she's been kind of running this season. So. I think that was to be pretty expected. Like, had she not gone out and taken it out, that would have surprised me more. Um, and um, I wasn't surprised that she came back, I guess. I was glad that she did. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it unfolded pretty well, pretty much how I would think it would have. Do you think maybe you had a shot at her there in the last few steps? Um, I think as I was coming down, it was becoming more of like, a reality like oh I'm actually reeling her in but then I got kind of mixed up with where the line was but they had the tape set up so I almost got I, I mean I think I got second but it was very close that I got third but thankfully I saw it and gave the lean this time a lesson learned from us. I know <laughs> yeah so that's good progressing but well, I was gonna say you have been racing very well what, thanks what's been clicking in practice uh, where you're getting back to racing so well um I mean, my practices are going better than they ever had, but I've always, you know, with, with minus 2010, I've always really been putting together solid practices, but then not being able to maintain the level of relaxation and calmness um, going into the race, and I think that that's been like the key difference is just like being really loose and open and, you know, knowing that I'm ready. Maggie, what's it like coming back to the neighborhood? Coming back to Hayward? Yeah. I mean, to me, it's a blessing to be back here. Um, so I've had some highs and I've had some lows here. So it kind of feels like there's a bit of like redemption I get to have when I come back here um, and to perform, you know, well and up to my capabilities. And they really treat me nicely up here at the meet. Um, so, you know, I'm just really grateful that they gave me the opportunity to run. And, you know, I, I'm glad that I could put on a decent show. It wasn't the greatest, but it was solid. Can you talk more about the jersey? I, uh, I, I just really want to know. Okay, um, I wanted to go with a Navajo print. I've just been, I was inspired by that earlier in the year and when I was in high school I was like really inspired um, when we would learn about um, Native Americans so I wanted to kind of do something red, white, and blue and the Navajo print and then I started seeing it all and people all around me like just out in daily life and I was like oh I think I'm on to something here with you know on trend so we actually developed this and sent out for the fabric and custom did it and then I had my designer Merlin Castell put it together and he did a great job of, like lining everything up lining all these straight down the sleeve so you know it's really well made and professional and it feels fun and good to race in so I'm excited I mean it's fun to do something different you, we saw the one you had at Stanford earlier this season. How many of these do you have in your closet? Um, my Stanford one's probably not going to make an appearance again, but now I have, this is my third one that I've done with Merlin, so those are the ones I'm like stacking together, and I'll probably do a couple more, and then I want to do my warm-up wear and stuff, so it's hard though with training and racing and traveling and trying to, you know, keep myself maintained and rested and healthy and also doing this, but it's a great project and it just, <laughs> it's fun to be out here and racing and showing something new. And well, it looks great. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Not yet, but I hope so. I'd love to work with people on it, you know, you can really do something that's um, personal to somebody and expresses their personality. So. Thank you. What's next for you, by the way? Um, I'm not sure yet. 
I don't have another race until nationals, but I'd like to put something together, so I'll get it together. <laughs> Appreciate it.